Warren here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Kickstarters that have kickstarted that uh, that I'm looking forward to actually getting and obtaining. Um, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about Kickstarters that haven't yet launched yet that will that I'm very excited to have be launched. Um, and then I'll give my reasons why. So let's jump in. So the first game um, here is uh, Fall of the Mountain King. Um, it is the second iteration of of the Mountain King. Uh, the first one is Hall of the Mountain King, which is a, a very, very fun um, abstract game. This one's going to be area control. So I'm very excited to see what this one has to offer. Uh, as you can see here, it looks like it's going to be quite amazing. Uh, just their, Most of their um, components that they have are just very well done. And I'm just very excited to get this in my hands and uh, on my tabletop. Uh, it just has so many fun, like unique features into it, into it that uh, you don't really see in a lot of area control games. Now, my next game that I'm looking forward to getting in my hands is Massive Darkness. Now, Massive Darkness, this particular one, Massive Darkness 2 Hellscape, reminds me a lot of Diablo. And as you guys all know, I have a very strong ties with Diablo in my history of gaming and everything like that. Um, both the features are you're going against, you know, demons in hell and, and not only that, but if you get the expansion, you go against the angels in heaven as well. So um, as far as like Diablo lore, that it just really ties in with uh, what I enjoy and what I like. So I'm very excited to get this in my hands and, and play this on my table as well. Uh, anything that mix, um, Diablo-ish stuff into my tabletop games as well would be amazing. I can't wait um, to, to just have this. Uh, hopefully it'll be coming out this next year, but uh, we'll see with all the stuff that's going on with shipping. Next one is uh, Mythic Mischief. So this is a very, very fun um, asymmetrical game where you're kind of going against um, the other person. So it's like kind of like Santorini. Um, you kind of move around yourself and, and you move the, the main bad person in the middle around and you try to get um, them to run into your enemy and they're trying to do the same thing. You're able to kind of control the terrain and your enemy and, and the main um, librarian, I guess you would call it, that that's um, capturing everyone. Uh, and it just, it really, really looks like, and it's gotten a lot of praise from everyone that plays it. So we'll see what happens with this. Uh, my next one is My Father's Work. Now, now this one is more so um, I'm a fan of Renegade games, so I would love to see what happens with this. Uh, I think a lot of Renegade games that they come out with are really, really good and well done. So I, I can't actually can't wait to see what this game um, has to offer. It's two to four players. Uh, it's worker placement. You're kind of creating... Um, a mad scientist. You're a mad scientist, if you will, and you're creating like um, different things that just the town doesn't approve of. Uh, but as you work your way up to becoming better and more knowledgeable, uh, you will eventually make some really crazy stuff. Uh, and it just looks really, really fun. And I believe like you got the whole village eventually if you create something too crazy or, or you don't get it well enough, like the town will it'll punish you basically. And it, it just... It really, really looks fun, um, and I can't wait. So you could become a werewolf, you, you know, that, that's your experiment, time machine, stuff like that. I just can't wait uh, to also get that going. Um, a lot of the components look amazing as well. Miniatures look fun. Um, you could get, like, you could upgrade your, your mansion to, like, help you with your worker placement and stuff like that, so... We'll see what that has. Um, another one is uh, X Men U X Men United. Uh, sorry, Marvel United X Men. Now I already have the base box for it, but I don't have any of the the actual Kickstarter stuff that comes with this. They sent this out if you did a two wave. Um, I enjoy what that box had to offer, but I am very excited to get all the other stuff. Um, uh, we we'll would love to see. They have so many like cool miniatures here. I um, mean, if you're an X-Men fan, there's that. Um, they're also making it so the heroes feel more like asymmetrical, like you, you you feel more unique in playing whatever character you're playing. Whereas like in the original Marvel United, they, they, most characters didn't really have that. Like they didn't feel like, oh, I'm playing the Hulk. Like, yeah, I'm playing the Hulk and I have a lot more punches in my deck, but 
why am I the Hulk right now? Like, how do I know I'm the Hulk besides, like, the back of the cards show the Hulk? You know what I mean? Whereas in, in X-Men, all of the heroes, they should have powers that actually have, like, an ability on them, not just a punch or more punches or moves, more moves or more heroics or things like that. So, well, I'm really excited to get this on my table. I, I was kind of hoping that they would actually maybe give out decks not um, as Kickstarters to, like, fix the the old one. Um, but nonetheless, I'm very excited. It's adding tons of heroes um, to the game, so there's going to be plenty of to play. Cloak and Dagger, I'm really excited to play. Obviously, you got Nightcrawler there as well. Now, these are all the Kickstarters that I already Kickstarted that I'm very excited to get into my hands. Now the next one is not yet kickstarted uh, and I can't wait to to get this one going. Um, it's not a campaign yet but Marvel Zombies. Now if you guys don't know anything about zombie sides, uh, basically they are where you are in a campaign, you're um, your group of survivors going through and you're trying to get certain objectives done and um, as you're going through, zombies are coming at you, and there's going to be noise tokens. And then when you open up a room, there's zombies that are going to be in that room that you don't know that they're in there. And then um, through those rooms, you could get, like, guns, or, or I guess if you're playing the medieval one, you get swords and whatnot. Um, there is tons of different zombie sites out there. So there's the modern time zombies. There is the medieval zombies, or fantasy-based, I guess. Um, and then there's the in space zombies and then another zombie side that's going to be coming out this year is actually going to be um the wild west which is a zombie side undead or alive and then this next one is going to be um marvel zombies uh, i'm very excited to have the, the actually playing this one would actually be um your roles are reversed so you are actually the zombie hero um going through and eating people and there's some heroes that aren't zombies and you'll be fighting them and whatnot and i believe that it was also said that you could do like a versus so if someone can play as a hero zombie or a hero and then you could play as the hero zombie and then you could actually do some kind of versus like arena kind of like thing um with that i'm very excited to see what happens with this um it, this is their 50th campaign i think it launches mid january and uh, i can't um, I'm sure they're going to be pulling all the punches with this one. So I hope to see all you guys in that and, and I'll do some coverage on that as well as that goes on. But, uh, thanks again, once again, you guys, and I'll see you next time.